Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be reviewing some expensive skincare. So if you follow me on Instagram, I talked about this a couple of months ago when I accidentally got this package, but uh, the reason this is called Accidentally Trying Expensive Skincare is because I technically get all these products for free due to a shipping error from Sephora. A few months ago, when I got the rest of, I got a, a black lipstick, a green lipstick, and then I ordered, um, three of the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows. I have the whole video on those Chromium Shadows if you're interested. But in that package, I, I got a big package, which was kind of strange because it was like five really tiny things that shouldn't have weighed a lot. Opened the package and I had four expensive skincare products in here with like no other packing slip and I had no idea what they were because I, I didn't buy them. So I contacted Sephora Customer Service. They actually have a live chat on their website, which is actually pretty useful. Um, so through the live chat, I was able to get one of my Chromium Shadows replaced because in shipping it actually like broke and I couldn't open it and then I asked about all the extra skincare like I, I feel bad you know do I need to return this to a store do you want me to ship it back but I also knew because of COVID they probably didn't want it back but I felt guilty <laughs> at first I was like really guilty because it's like $200 plus worth of skincare that I got because of an accident so uh, they said nope nope it was our mistake just keep the skincare do what you want with it and I was like okay so I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to like see me test this and then do a video and it was an overwhelming yes from everyone so I have four expensive skincare products that I'm going to talk about three of them are total empty so I used up completely three of them and then one is half empty because it's uh, a face mask so I didn't actually get to finish that completely so let's jump straight in the first empty slash product that I have I could probably just call this a bougie empties video right so I got the Tatcha water cream and these are all full-size products by the way um so the Tatcha box is so fancy and everything i have to say i really like the packaging <laughs> of course because i mean for this expensive they better be that fancy you know so it's like got this little box and it like comes up out of it how cute is that um and then the actual packaging itself is adorable did i use this little spoon to actually scoop things up no no i did not am i going to keep this empty and use it to put like other stuff in yes 100 percent um, so I did use up the entirety of this water cream, and unfortunately, this just isn't meant for my skin type. This is definitely meant as a lightweight moisturizer for people with really, really oily skin. And I forgot to do just like a little check-in on my skin at the beginning, so I, I have no uh, makeup on right now. I am barefaced. I did have a couple of bad breakouts over the last like month. Um, so I think I have like a little scar over here that still hasn't really gone down. And then I had some breakouts around here. But everything's kind of calmed down. I just have like leftover like scarring that I'm trying to get rid of using my rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. Uh, but overall, my skin's actually been looking pretty decent. That being said, my skin never felt moisturized enough with this. And it's because, of course, it's meant for oily skin. It's a, def it's a light, thin cream that is really going to work well if you've got a lot of excessive oil because you don't want to over moisturize oily skin because then it's going to produce more oil. Um, I did like the scent. I did like how it felt at first, but this immediately would sink into my skin and I would feel dry 10 minutes later. And I have combo two oily skin, so like I have dry-ish skin here and then I have oily skin in my T-zone. So it just didn't work for me or my skin. Uh, I'm glad I got to like try a full size because before this I've only ever tried little minis of the product. Uh, that being said, this is definitely for me and for my skin type. If you if you have oily skin, it might be worth it to you, but for me and my skin type, this isn't worth the 64, I think, dollars it is for this product. I am going to keep the packaging though, because this is adorable. Next, we have two Drunk Elephant products that really, one was actually really good for my skin, the other one, I, I saw no difference. So the first one, I have the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Now this, the packaging was actually broken when I got this. I didn't complain at all because it, again, it was a free product that I got. Um, so I literally had to like, I watched a, a video on how to like cut it open. So I had to cut it open and just like dunk it out onto my hand because the pump just wasn't working. Uh, this, I, this was the first product that I used. And I basically, the way I used these products is throughout my skincare routine, I would replace one product at a time. So I used this to replace a serum I was using morning and night to see if I saw a difference, but the rest of my skincare routine stayed the same. I did not see, like there was literally no difference in my skin. And for a 60 something dollar like serum, I expect to see at least some difference, no difference in glow, hydration, nothing. So like for me, this was like a total dud. Like I used up the entire container as much as I could get out. The rest of that is just a coating on the sides that I literally can't scoop out for the life of me. But I used this whole thing, nothing. 
So this one, it was an easy, like, yeah, not worth it. It's way too overpriced for me and I wouldn't recommend this at all. All right, next, this product actually gave me, like, I had to pause and like think about it because I actually really liked this product. Yeah, so this is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this is just a very thick, enriched facial moisturizer. And it worked so well on my skin. My skin felt moisturized like all day, all night. And I felt like it also, because again, like I said, I, I rotated these products out one at a time. So when I started using this, I also noticed that like my breakouts were a lot more sparse and that my redness, because I do get redness like right around here, did go down. So this, I actually saw like the most amount of like difference. Um, I also really like the packaging. It's got like this kind of air pump thing that you use to pop it out. I used up the entire thing. That being said, for 60 something dollars that this is, using this morning and night, I think it only lasted me about a month and a half. That's expensive for a moisturizer. It's only gonna last you a month and a half, right? And if you have to keep rebuying this, you're spending like nearly a thousand dollars a year on moisturizer. I can't. I just can't. Um, so while I actually really like this product, and if I ever have the opportunity to get a sample of this, I would jump on it. But just thinking, like long term, thinking realistically, no matter how good like it felt on my skin, it wasn't a hundred percent. Like it wasn't enough. It wasn't. <laughs> how do I phrase this? It wasn't so much better than my drugstore moisturizer to warrant the price especially when you have to repurchase this so often. So I did enjoy this. I'm shocked I enjoyed this because I was also expecting, after testing out the serum and it did nothing for me, I was also expecting this to do nothing for me because they're from the same brand, but this worked out so well. So anyway, so yeah, this shocked me, but just the repurchasing and everything, it's just too much. All right, and last but not least, we have a product that also actually really surprised me, and this is from Glam Glow. I've never tried a full size of any Glam Glow product, mainly because they seem to do, like, those kind of kitschy, like, viral, like, glitter masks and things that aren't really good for your skin, but they look cute in, like, an Instagram video, right? So for this, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot at all, but this is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And I have to say, this was the perfect time of year to get a hydrating treatment because... It's winter and I do have dry skin, so my skin is definitely more dry in the winter than it is in the summer. Um, I did think the packaging was a little excessive on this. Like, this thing is huge. This is the actual size of the container and then this is the packaging. And then you have to open it up and then you open it here. It was just a little, little much for me and my taste. I know nice packaging can be a plus when you're spending so much money on a product, but like the packaging here feels good enough. Like this is heavy, it's got a nice top, it looks pretty, I like the coloring. I just thought this packaging was a little too much. Anyway, this is the one that isn't an empty. So the rest of the products I've used up completely for this review, I've used up half of this mask and it's because I was using this mask once a week at most because I try not to do too many masks on my skin. You know, I don't want to irritate my skin too much, but this First of all, it smells delightful. I don't know the exact scent, but it smells kind of like Play-Doh, but like not in a bad way. I like the smell of Play-Doh. I like it. But this mask, uh, it it is a hydrating mask, like the title says, and what you do is you're supposed to like put it on, let it sit for like 20 minutes, and then if there's anything left over, you either massage it into your skin or you use like a wet cloth and just take off the super excess and like rub in the rest of it. This works so well on my skin. Whenever I use this, I saw like, difference not only in like the moisture like my skin felt more moisturized but also i had a glow it worked really well and something that i've actually noticed is that in my history of trying expensive skincare for the most part like face washes even moisturizers they don't seem to be worth it to me because of how quickly you're using the product how easily you can get a similar result just by going with a drugstore alternative but something consistent i've seen is that higher end bespoke custom expensive face masks might be one of the only expensive skincare products that to me might be worth it because they last a lot longer you tend to only use them once a week once or twice a week at most and for a product that's sitting on your skin for so long and you're really letting it penetrate and do the work to me i see the benefits of spending a little bit more money on that kind of product and so to me i was actually shocked by this and I'm now debating whether I want to get another Glam Glow mask. I'm not going to get any of those, like those glitter ones, you know, the whatevers. But if there was another like deep hydration or a deep treatment mask, I would look into it. 
I also talked about this phenomenon in my last skincare video, which actually has my current skincare routine. I'll have that up in the cards. But in that video, I tested custom skincare. Yes, yeah, so that um, custom face mask worked so well for my skin. It was a little bit expensive, but with like discount codes, you can get it down to between 30 and $40, which is, I think this, uh, I forgot how much this was. It's like, if it's around 60, I was like, mm, maybe on the 20% sale, but like, yeah, that, yeah, that's where I am with this. This is the only one I would consider buying out of everything here. And I would only consider buying this on sale. I still have half of it. I am going to continue using this until it becomes an empty, but I have to say I was very, very impressed <laughs> by this. And it really got me to think more about what might be worth investing in skincare. And to me, it seems to be the face masks that really do a deep penetrating job, you know, a, a deep treatment that you really only use once a week, once every other week, because they last longer, they seem to work better for my skin, and it seems to be like a nice, like, little treat yourself every now and then. But like the products that you're using daily, you really don't need to spend that much money on them. And that was proven to me again here, where the majority of these products didn't, that I use daily, I could dupe them. <laughs> I could just use drugstore products instead. So that is everything that I accidentally got to try in full size because of a shipping error. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you want to see any other skincare related videos. I know I do routine videos every now and then, but to be honest, I I don't really do a whole lot like I have a skincare routine but I don't do a whole lot outside of like that regular routine so if there's any other videos for any other skincare you know ideas you want to see please let me know down below and I'll consider all of them thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video bye